Well, guys, back uh, on the 10th of October, I had a call at a gas station, you know, and this is the grab-and-go machine uh, right out there where, you know, you grab your food or whatever. You can see it's not uh, not doing very well at all. So what I did was I checked, uh, you know, the pressure here and hooked up my little gauge to it. Y'all seen it before, this little one there. And when I connected to it, I saw that my pressure was very high. It should be down below 50 somehow, so pretty good reason why we got such a high temperature. So uh, this is on a rack, you'll see in just a minute. So we've got compressors that aren't running or something's going on, so go up on top. This is in a rooftop husband protocol at a local gas station. You see? Show y'all what I got going on here got a bad compressor. The reason I was called out was because the A6 grab and go is at 44 degrees and it's set for 36. You can see here, look at the history. This thing cannot get down to temperature. Scroll down, we're going page down now. You can see the different times on the day. So this scrolls like an hour and a half per page. So it takes a measurement every three minutes. But look at that, we can't even get down in the 30s there's one reading at 39 degrees and that's it so this thing is not working all right so this compressor looks to be running 20 amps but then out of nowhere it sounds like it clicks on drop for like a couple seconds and then it goes back up and it does this like every 30 seconds or no every 20 15 to 20 seconds so I want y'all to see what the amp draws are doing on compressor number three pretty weird but y'all probably seen it before I don't see this very often we're going 17 amps it says and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, drops to 7.6 and then for like a half a second, and then goes back up to 18. And then it'll do that like every 10 to 15 seconds, that'll happen. There it goes again. That's very interesting. So yeah, you can see we're measuring amps on the contactor. 18. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you can hear it. Click. Drops for like a second. And then it goes back up. Meanwhile, the computer is recognizing it as a stage that's out. I got stage out one, stage out one, stage... I got that many times. Alright, well based on what this here says, I don't think that that the 17 amps is too high. Looks like 32.1 uh, is the maximum here on this. So, I was wrong about that. But what it's doing is definitely not normal. If any of y'all have seen a compressor do exactly what this is doing here, uh, let me know. And, uh, because I'm curious to, to know. I'm sure you guys, some of you have, so. Now this clip here, this is one that shows how it actually goes up quite a while in between those strange occurrences that are, that are going on. This one I get like, a, oh, I think like 45 seconds, so let's, let's see how long in between. It's fixing to do it here. There it is, right there. It looks like we had about 40 seconds on that one, 38 or 40 seconds, which I don't know what that means. 
it could mean something, it could mean nothing. But either way, the compressor's dead, it needs to be replaced, and that's pretty much all that matters. But I just think it's interesting how these compressor windings will do that. You know, sometimes they'll have such a long pause, and then sometimes it'll be completely different. And I don't know what's up with it changing so much right there from 20 to 17, or 21, rather. Awfully strange. And then there's our second one. And that's it, guys. Uh, we ordered a compressor for this, and uh, I, I think it's been replaced already. This was a while ago. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Just something uh, I had in my drive.